It's Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are really beginning to witness some very, very key events take place uh, in these markets, in this economy, and we all need to be paying very, very close attention uh, to what is going on. Before I start the video today, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you share all these videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you, you subscribe to this channel. Uh, but getting back uh, uh, to what happened today, I, I want to recap uh, some of the events. Dow Jones drops 540 points today. It was interesting because about the last hour, hour and a half, they were trying to bring it back. Uh, they got it uh, in the three, high 300s. And uh, the whole bottom fell out uh, at the end, and Dow Jones closes down 540 points. NASDAQ falls 2.6%. Now, the 10-year yield right now, currently, as I make this video, is just about 1.88%. And why does this matter? Well, it, it's going to matter a lot to the housing market. But, but before we even talk about the housing market, dollar up today, gold flat, silver up. Uh, it was just a very, very interesting day, but we have the 10 year yield now, 1.88 and dollar up. And um, why, why the 10 year yield is so important is because mortgage rates are really, really uh, connected uh, to the 10 year bond yield. And we are seeing uh, a big jump now in the 10 year. The 30 year fixed mortgage rate is now at the highest level since April of 2020, many lenders are already up to 3.75% as of today. Applications to refinance a home loan were down 50% from a year ago. A medium priced existing home will now cost you $125 more per month than it did a couple months ago. And guess what? The 10 year is gonna go up even more. And this is gonna have a, I believe, a critical effect uh, on the housing market. And I believe that they are going to raise rates numerous times this year. Now, they could pull back, as we've said, they could reverse course. But in the meantime, we're gonna see destruction in the markets, in the housing market. Uh, and when people aren't working, when people's wages are not keeping up with inflation, when people just don't have money, they cannot buy houses, they cannot buy cars, they cannot go out to dinner, uh, they cannot go to a retailer. This is going to get very, very ugly, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not making this video to scare you. Too many people think that these videos are about scaring people. No, these videos are about waking you up, that you need to be very, very concerned right now. And I'm gonna tell all of you, I sleep pretty good at night. I have all my debts paid off. I, I, I've put cash away, I've put gold away, I put silver away, and I feel pretty good. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not concerned or, or nervous about what's coming because we're gonna see uh, this collapse impact everybody from, from the wealthy to the poor and everybody in between. But you must be taking precautions right now to protect yourself because the wheels are off this train, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to run out of control. Home builder confidence drops for the first time in four months as inflation hits materials. Um, if you go to a Lowe's, uh, if you go to a Home Depot, take a look at lumber prices surging again. It's absolutely ridiculous, uh, the prices of lumber right now. But this is going to continue uh, but but just begin to connect the dots a little bit. Uh, interest rates going up, 10-year going up, Fed's fund rate going to go up, home builder confidence drops. We saw the December retail numbers. Not very impressive, is it? Uh, this is telling you, it's forecasting a trend for you about, about what's coming later down the road here in 2022, and it does not look pretty. Oil prices hit seven-year high. Today, right now as I make this video, barrel of oil is $86.77. Um, <laughs> these people out there that believe that this is all going to go away, that uh, this is only going to last a couple more weeks, 
Uh, remember, we were told about the great recovery, that uh, it was only going to take a couple weeks, and that the U.S. economy would bounce back, uh, that uh, inflation was transitory, and obviously we all know now it isn't. And most people watching this video knew it wasn't. But uh, this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is going to get much, much worse. And I, I really hope that you've been preparing. And, and, you know, there's a lot of people out there that will tell you, oh, I have all this food. I've got some silver coins. Uh, you know, this is what you need to do. Uh, you, you should be buying these stocks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, why do these people not tell you about the number one asset on planet Earth? And that is your security, okay? That is your security. All you have to do is watch five minutes of the news tonight and see uh, what's happening with uh, train robberies and people breaking into homes and uh, just the, the crime out here in Los Angeles County is just absolutely crazy. You could just be walking down the street minding your own business and, and some very, ba very bad things can happen to you. Um, but uh, nobody talks or a lot of people don't talk. They'll tell you what you should buy and, and, and you should have some food and you, you, know, uh, you should have this mindset. But these same exact people are gonna be in very, very big trouble because they're missing the number one asset on planet Earth, and that's security. If you don't have real security, ladies and gentlemen, your gold, silver, food, water, it's all worthless, okay? Your home, worthless, it's all worthless. Experts are warning that empty shelves and food shortages are going to continue for many weeks to come. Many weeks to come? Uh, I think we're gonna experience this the entire year and possibly beyond. Just looking at the ships off the West Coast, um, it's going to take months just to unload the ships. And maybe it could take possibly even longer. There's so many ships out there and these ships take a week to unload. Uh, just think 125 ships uh, takes a week to unload every one. There are numerous cranes there. They're not all operating, but um, I, I think that this is gonna last more than weeks. Union Pacific threatens to leave Los Angeles amid soaring train thefts. Going back to security, ladies and gentlemen, what happens when uh, trains no longer matter and they're coming to your house? What does your, your food, what does your water, what does your gold, what does your silver, what does your cash, what do your you know, bartering items, your boots, your jeans, what does it all matter if you cannot protect it? You must have security. What happens when this begins coming to your house? Again, so many people out there telling you that you should be buying this, you should be buying that, buy this stock, buy that stock, um, you know, have a couple cans of food put away and, uh, you know, have 10 ounces of junk silver and you're going to be okay. That's not true. And we all need to wake up to what is really happening here. Uh, Fox Business, California weighing proposal that could double taxes. Talked about this a few days ago, and uh, I, I'm just reading a little bit more about this. California lawmakers, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, unveiled a new bill at the beginning of this year that would establish a single-payer health care system. And how are they going about in doing this? Uh, it would be funded by doubling your taxes here in California. And on average, the average household in California would pay $12,250 so everybody in the state can have free health care. What do you think about that? Comment down below. Very, very scary. Another reason why I'm exiting the state. Uh, it, it, this is absolutely getting uh, bizarre what is happening here. The, the politicians in the state have gone absolutely bananas. And uh, like I said earlier in one of my past videos, I cannot afford to be here. It just it does not make any economic sense. Uh, they're going to price out everybody that they can. I don't know who's going to be left in California. This state, uh, when they said years ago that it would fall into the ocean, it literally right now is beginning to fall into the ocean. Uh, another article today that um, comes from The Hedge, and we've talked about this before, but the problems in China get worse. China's property sector is crashing again, and... It's not just Evergrande. Now we have another one of these huge de de development companies, an even bigger development company called Country Garden Holdings, even bigger than Evergrande, has been largely un unseathed by the liquidity crunch. They are the largest developer in China by contracted sales 
It employs over 200,000 people. It has the largest pool of outstanding U.S. dollar bonds among China's largest property firms. It has $1.1 billion of bonds due this year. And currently, they have 3,000 housing projects located in almost every province of China. Now, that's housing projects, projects, not housing or houses. These are housing projects, and there could be thousands uh, or hundreds in each project. So this is a lot of houses. They have a lot of underlying debt. They binged on debt to grow this company over the years. And now the debts have to be paid. And somebody asked in this article, how, how and what could they do to wipe out debt? Well, they could go to their lenders and say, good luck, God bless, see you later. And that in return would mean that a lot of you could kiss your pensions goodbye because so many of our pensions right here in the US are invested in these huge development companies in China and all over the world. And how many of our banks, hedge funds, pensions, you name it, are invested in these type of development companies in China presently right now? And what happens if they say goodbye? Uh, what does your pension do? Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more problems. And, and this is why it's so important to have an emergency plan, to have money put away, to have some assets like gold or silver put away. And this is not financial advice. This is me thinking out loud and, and sharing with you what I'm doing, what a lot of people uh, who watch these videos are doing. Read the comments down below. But another article that just came out last night in the LA Times, Crypto.com suspends withdrawals after unauthorized activity. And, and again, we just go back uh, to all this. You know, people uh, highly invested in their pensions and their 401ks and this whole global economy is so connected. If one big bank goes down, your bank is going down, ladies and gentlemen. If a bank blows up in Europe, we're in trouble here. If a bank blows up in China, we're gonna be in trouble here. If one blows up here, the world's in trouble. Crypto.com has more than 10 million customers and it is one of the most prominent platforms in the US. Crypto.com said on Monday that it stopped all deposits and withdrawals while it was investigating. The measure was temporary to allow it to improve security. So what really happened? Did somebody try to break into Crypto.com? Uh, was it another glitch? Was it, were they updating systems? Several users reported that in recent days, tens of thousands of dollars disappeared from their accounts. Now, let me ask you, if you needed to withdraw money for an emergency, uh, if you were in a business transaction and you needed to pull $20,000 out of this account and there was no money there, what would you do? It just, uh, again, people are so reliant on this technology, um, on the computer, and look, the, the power didn't go out, ladies and gentlemen. The system went out for whatever reason. Ben Baller, a crypto influencer, said he had $14,000 of crypto stolen out of nowhere right from his account. Deutschcoin co-founder Billy Manx, I think, said he spotted odd activity on a Ethereum wallet Monday on Crypto.com. Again, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. Uh, this stuff is so susceptible uh, to illegal activity, um, to power outages, to glitches, to cyber attacks, you name it. And I'm not sitting here telling anybody not to buy crypto. For me personally, I don't because I'm going back to simplicity. Right now, for, with what we are facing, I think this is the time to really make it simple. Gold, cash, silver, things of that nature. And most of all, get your debts paid off. And on top of that, make sure you have some security. Again, uh, these people uh, that you know tell everybody what to do, what to buy, um, it boggles my mind that these are some of the most unprepared people on planet Earth. They never think about what's gonna happen 
when things get bad, when there's a knock at the door, or when somebody tries to kick your door in. When people get hungry, they do re really crazy things. And we're not even there yet. This country's eating, ladies and gentlemen. What happens when it doesn't? Uh, Union Pacific talking about pulling out of LA because the crime is that bad, which means that um, it's gonna cost more to, to get deliveries of packages into LA if Union Pacific decides, hey, we don't want any more of this. Who, who, takes, who, who takes their place? Um, if those trains can be robbed, you can be robbed. Uh, if they can go into a, a crypto account and rob it, uh, they can certainly come to your door and uh, try to rob you. So why not have security? Why not have some kind of training? That's the best advice I could give anybody. And a lot of people get a hold of me and um, people, uh, I have consultations from time to time with people uh, doing things and I, I'm really amazed. And this is not a, a, an attack on anybody. It's not a judgment on anybody, but I am thoroughly amazed how many people are not prepared, do not have their security in order, do not have security. With everything you are watching take place, crime is soaring, uh, railroads being robbed. Next, it'll be the shipping, uh, the, uh, the, the cargo ships uh, in Long Beach. They'll be taking boats out there and robbing those. You've looked at how many stores in Beverly Hills, the West Coast, Chicago, and everywhere in between uh, robbed. People's watches being taken right off their wrists in Beverly Hills. Um, what more do you need to convince you that this is no joke? You better have security. Look, Stocks are not going to save you, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's going to mean nothing when this whole thing implodes. People are going to get absolutely ridiculous. And we've never seen people really, really hungry in America. This country's still eating. When that stops, or when the inflation gets so far out of control that they can't even afford to buy a loaf of bread, guess where their grocery store is gonna be? It's gonna be at your house. So you better be prepared. And this isn't uh, to scare you, but it is to make you think and you should be very, very concerned because you owe it to yourself, you owe it to all your hard work, you owe it to your family to protect what is yours. Security, security, security. God bless, talk to you soon.